everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. In this video, I like to try the two new palettes from Hourglass from their holiday collection of 2021. The Ambient Lighting Palette in Universe and Universe Unlocked. There was another palette that was in their holiday collection and it was this one, the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. And I already did a video on this one and I'll link it down below. And this one is nice for my medium to tan skin tone. And here are the shades in that. And I went ahead and got these two palettes and I'm looking at it, it's like, why did I get them? Well, I got them because I wanted to try it and see if it will work for my skin tone and the palettes, the shades did look pretty. I have a feeling this one right here will probably be too light for me. And then we'll see about this one. Let me go ahead and talk about the Universe palette first. It comes in this marbly pink and light, I guess light blue, light gray type of a tin packaging. And yes, this is tin compared to the original packaging, which is more plastic, I guess. And how we open this palette, it is a little different from the usual hourglass palettes. I said that I am left-handed, so it's always kind of odd for me to open it. Let me show it to you in this volume three palette. You open up one side and that's how you open it. And you can kind of see the unevenness there. And then when you close it up, that's how it looks. Now with this one, it has the groove right there to make it look like it opens that way, but it has the same kind of bottom right there. But with this one, you open it from the top. Oh, it's gonna be awkward here. So yeah, you open it from the top like that, and it's even right there on the lid. I don't know, I just thought I might bring that up, especially for the left-handers out there, because yeah, the Hourglass Palettes is a little cumbersome, I guess, but it's like where you can't hold this side and lift this side up, so you have to open it from the top, which I think is a little bit better for us left-handers, because then you could just open it with your left hand. Okay. I think it is easier to open it up this way, yeah, instead of this way. I know. Okay, we'll just move on. <laughs> It does have a mirror inside, and I have to say that the lid is a little heavy. Let's look at the shades. Now, the Universe features four brand new shades. So here's the existing shade, which is the Infinity Powder, and it says on their website that these four are limited edition. And here is the Unlocked palette, and it comes in a, I would say, chocolate marble design on the package. You open it the same way, and here are the shades in this palette. The Universe Unlocked features two best-selling and three brand new shades of the Ambient Lighting Powder. Two existing shades, which I believe is this one and the bronzer. It also includes three limited edition shades of the blush and highlighter. Let me go ahead and show these to you side by side. Now, even though they are different in color, they're also different in design in the front. This one has the Hourglass H on top, and this one just has Hourglass, the word Hourglass on it, I had to look at it. Now, each of these palettes cost $80 each, and I did get them off the Hourglass website. And I did sign up with my husband's email so I can get 15% off of these palettes. And of course, after I received them, I saw that Space and K was having 20% off, off the new palettes from Hourglass, just these two. I didn't see the volume three there. If you plan on getting these, I would wait till there's a sale. There's no reason to spend the full price on something that you know it will be on sale later on, unless you really, really needed it. Let me just go ahead and show you again the shades, how it has that swirl. And let me go ahead and put it up against the Unlocked palette. You can see this one has more of the swirl effect in the powders, where this is just the regular type of powders. Maybe that's the reason why I got it, because it just looks pretty. But I know after trying this one, these two will probably not work on my medium to tan skin tone. But we're going to try. We're going to try. Let me go ahead and swatch the Universe palette. I'm going to do the powder first, the Infinity powder. And of course, these are very creamy. Yeah, it's going to be light. So this is the Infinity Powder, which fuses three acclaimed shades of ambient powder. Diffuse light, dim light, and hypnotic strobe light. Now keep in mind, when you swatch hourglass powders, it's different than when you apply it on your skin. Because when you blend it out, it just kind of fuses into the skin. Does that make sense? So let me go ahead and re-swatch this powder. Now let me swatch this new blush, Vibrant Heat. And this is a vibrant pink. And here's the other blush, Luminous Rose. And this is a soft plum. Oh yeah, that's a soft plum, all right. <laughs> now I think on me, I think I'll apply this one first and then this one on top of it. Now let's go in the bronzer, which yeah, this is already gonna be light. Let's see, the name of this bronzer is Glistening Bronze Light. This is a golden bronze. And then the last one, which is the Strobe Lightning Powder, which is called Supernatural Strobe Light. And this is a champagne, oh wow. That's pretty. I guess that is a little bit on the pinky side, this highlight. 
I would probably use this one as a highlight for sure. Now let's go in with the Unlocked palette. I'm going to swatch it on this side. Yeah, let me swatch it on this arm and then I'm going to wipe it off and just kind of put them side by side just so you can see. Okay, I'm left-handed so I'm going to have to swatch with my right hand so it's going to be a little, little off. But let's start with this lighting powder. I believe it's Radiant Light. And this is an existing shade. And this is a golden beige. That's pretty though. Now let's go in with this deep blush. This is pretty. Which is called Rose Heat. And this is a deep berry. That is deep. It almost looks like a lipstick shade almost. <laughs> and the blush down on the bottom. Which is Coral Flush. And this is a bright peony. Now for the bronzer, which is an existing shade, and I realize that I do have a little one, a little travel size of this one. I don't use it as much because it is light. Hence the name Radiant Bronze Light. But this is a warm bronze. And then the last one, the strobe lighting powder, which is called Solar Strobe Light. And this is a metallic champagne. Wow. That's got some blinding power. So here are the shades of the two palettes. Actually, what I'm going to do is rinse my arm off and just kind of just kind of swatch them side by side. I want to do it that way. I just want to see it for myself. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got them swatched on my arm here. And how I did it, I went from the lighting powder and the top blush, bottom blush, bronzer, and highlight. And then I put them side by side. So this is the powder, which is the Universe. And then this is the Universe Unlocked powder. Here is the Universe blush, Universe Unlocked blush, the top one. Here's the other Universe blush. And here is the Unlocked Blush. Here is the Universe Bronzer and the Unlocked Bronzer. And the Strobe Lighting Universe and Unlocked. So let me let you see there. Keep in mind these are finger swatches of the Hourglass powders. So they will look different when you buff them out. But I just wanted you to see the finger swatch so you can kind of get a gist of what the shades look like. And look at the bronzer. The bronzer I think is going to be light, kind of ashy a little bit for me. Just for kicks, let me swatch the volume three. Where can I put it? I'm going to put it underneath here. So I'm going to get the first finished powder and just kind of swatch it right there. I know. <laughs> and then the one in the middle and let's swatch it right there. And then the strobe powder. Let's put you right here. So yeah, I hope that helped. <laughs> So here's the Volume 3 palette, and you can hopefully see how it looks with the bronzers from both palettes. Volume 3 is deeper than the Universe and the Unlocked. Let me go ahead and apply them, and on this side, I'll be using the Universe palette, and on this side, I'll use the Unlocked palette. And you can apply them however you like, but for me, I always like to do a bronzer first. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer on the Universe palette. I'm going to use a dense brush because that will pick up a lot of product. And this is the Sonia G Master Face. Yes, the Master Face. And let me just pick some up and then let's apply it. Oh, and I forgot to mention I'm wearing the same primer and the same foundation as I wore when I tried it with the Volume 3 palette, just to kind of keep it fair. But yeah, let me keep applying this bronzer. I mean, it's pretty and I do see some radiant with it. it has a little bit of a shimmer. I mean, it does give me some color there but not as much as this one that I did with the volume three because I used this one as a bronzer. I'm still working on this side, so let me go ahead and use the blushes. And I'm gonna use this one because this one swats a little deeper on me. And I'm using the Face Pro from Sonia G. It's more of an angle. It's gonna be kind of a big brush to fit in this little pan size, but we'll work with it. Has a little bit of color, but I see a lot of the strobe lighting in there. A lot of shimmer. Same brush. Now I'm going to go in with this blush and I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks there. Wow, that did give me some, some light there. Now I'm going to use the strobe lighting powder, which is Supernatural Strobe Light. I'm going to use the Sonia G Soft Cheek and use that to place this as a highlighter. I mean, that's pretty, but it's more on the pinky side. And I'm not a big fan of pinky highlighters, but it does give you that uh, strobe lighting there. I'm gonna go in with the Infinity Powder, and this one kind of scares me because I keep seeing everybody that is just too shiny on them. Some people like it, some people don't. So let me see how it works for me. I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss number 11. It's a fluffy brush. Let's see here, let me just apply that here and under my eyes. 
and on my chin. And down here. Actually, I don't see anything on me. He puts them on my forehead. Try packing a little bit more because I don't see anything on me. I see uh, some sheen, but not the color. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to be too shiny either. <laughs> the only thing I did was the Universe palette on this side. This side still has nothing on it. Not my favorite, I have to admit it, not my favorite. You see the bronzer on me, the blush is pretty. Strobe light, not my favorite. And the Infinity Powder, I don't know how I feel about it because I can't see it on my skin. But let's move on to the Unlocked palette and I'll be doing it on this side. I'll be using the same brush and I'll be wiping it off this microfiber cloth. Going in with the Radiant Bronze Light. The same brush that I used on the other side. Some product there. And let's apply it here. Try to build it up. Put it on my forehead. All right, the bronzer. The bronzer in the Unlocked palette, you can see it more on my skin than the Universe palette. It's still a little light, still a little light. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Now let's go to the blush and let me clean off the brush. This one I think is gonna be pigmented, so I'm just gonna you know, try to peck on just a little bit. Whoa, okay, let me tap some off. And this is Rose Heat. So I'm gonna apply that in the back of my cheeks there. Now that blush is pretty. Now let's go in with the coral blush. Apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, the blushes are pigmented on this side. It does have that uh, sheen to it. All right, <laughs> at least you can see it on this side. Let's go to the strobe light, which is, let's see here, solar strobe light. The same brush that I used on the other side. And let's use this as a highlighter. Okay, that one does have a lot of sheen to it. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit too much for my liking. I mean, it's kind of making my cheeks look fuller, doesn't it? <laughs> Using the same Wayne Goss, and I'm gonna go in with the Infinity Powder. No, this is the Lighting Powder. This is the Unlocked Palette. And let me just do my forehead first. Underneath my eyes, then my cheeks here and my chin. All right. <laughs> I don't know. This is just a little too shiny for me. I think this is just too too much strobe lighting going on on my face. But I have to say that the unlocked, you can see it more on my medium to tan skin tone. Whereas this one, not so much. It's not my favorite. All I see is sheen, not color. Does that make sense? Whereas this one, I do see color, but I'm seeing a lot of sheen. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, let me just step back here. What do you think, guys? Unlocked. Universe. Now, a lot of people do like the ambient lighting edits that they come out with every year. This is the first time for me to try them because in the past couple years, every time I looked at it, it was like, ah, it was a little too light and like the shades. But since they came out with this one, I went ahead and got these two just to try it. And I have to say that <laughs> out of the two, I like the Unlocked better, but out of the three, love this one, the volume three, love this one. Yes, there's no blush in this, but I've got other blushes from Hourglass that I love better. Yes, the blushes here look nice, but I don't think this palette is worth $80 just for two blushes. No, I, I just want your opinion. Look at both sides. Why don't you come here at least look at it? My husband just walked in and I said, come here and look at my face. <laughs> you see. I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just one side is a little bit darker than the other side. One side is a little bit more shiny than the other side. Okay. Like the right side is more darker and shiny than the left side. Okay. I like the left side better. This side? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. It's not as shiny as the other one. Okay. <laughs> you ask him about my opinion, that's my opinion. That's what I got. Now, the look that I did yesterday, I used this one. What did you think of how I looked oh, yeah. yesterday? That was, that was beautiful. I think it matches your skin color and it just... It was beautiful. Okay. 
So yeah, this one's a lot better. That's odd that you like this side more than this side. Why do you like this side more than this side? This one you can see more of my color, but I don't like the shininess of it. Too yeah, that's shiny. what I'm saying. It's a little bit shiny. Yeah. It's like you're sweating or something. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, I did put all the shades on my face. Probably in a regular look, I wouldn't use every shade, but I don't think it's worth $80 just to use a couple of shades out of this. Oops. $80 for this? <laughs> <laughs> my heart. My heart. Go away. Go away now. <laughs> I did get it on sale. <laughs> oh, okay. You can go back. <laughs> you just want my opinion. Yeah, I always want your opinion, and I value your opinion. Thank you. My makeup consultant. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. So you heard it there. So he liked this side better because it looked a little bit more subtle, I guess. Whereas this one's darker and more shiny. It has more of that strobe light. For me, I like this one better, just the blushes. I don't like the other powders in there. This one, I like the blushes in this one too, but it's not worth $160 for four blushes. When I put this up, the camera does kind of fade a little bit and you can really see what this looks like. Let me come up close so you can see. So yeah, here you can barely see the bronzer. You can see the blush just a little bit and a lot of the strobe lighting there. And on this side, you definitely can see the blush, but not so much of the bronzer and a lot of the highlight. And my forehead, wow. You can really see the sheen of the powder there. Not so much on this side though. My cheeks look a little fuller on this side than this side because the light is just kind of bringing it forward. I mean, the performance of the powders are beautiful. It's looking beautiful on my skin. Maybe the strobe lighting does kind of emphasize my texture and the pores there. But the powders, you barely see it. And if you do, you see more of the sheen. And maybe it does look a little ashy right here. As I'm talking, I'm noticing more things. And maybe underneath my eyes. Couldn't even see the powder on me. Barely see the bronzer, but the blushes and the highlight, the three new shades, those are what you can see on me. So I don't see why. They couldn't have just put a deeper bronzer shade and maybe a deeper finishing powder with this palette with the Unlocked. They just put two existing shades that are kind of light. Hopefully Hourglass will do something different next year and give us something like this with powders like these. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's pretty, but it's not me. For my skin tone. This is just for my skin tone. But yeah, I'm going to be returning the universe and keep the universe unlocked. It's not my favorite, to be honest. But I'm just going to keep this one for the blushes and for the strobe lighting and just to have it on hand. Because I've always wanted to try one of their Ed palettes, but maybe next year. Do love this one though. Do love this one. All right, you guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. So you can see how these palettes work on my skin tone. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.